My name is Marcy Kosky and I'm a fish biologist at the Columbia River Fisheries Program office in Vancouver, Washington. And I'm really excited to talk about the Clackamas River Bull Trout Reintroduction Program that our office has been involved with for the past couple years. There's been a lot of planning involved with the Clackamas Bull Trout Reintroduction and many, many partners have been involved in that planning process. We're co-running this program with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife and the U.S. Forest Service is also really a huge contributor to this effort. Other organizations that have helped out a lot have been NOAA, um, NIMPS, we consulted with NIMPS for the interactions with listed sal salmonids, and then also PGE um, has been very helpful in um, working with us to ensure the um, safety of those, those listed stocks in the Clackamas where they also have some hydropower operations there. Our office has been the lead in developing the monitoring and evaluation program for the overall project, which is supposed to occur over about 20 years, um, so it's a long-term endeavor. And we're really focused on the first phase of this project, the, the first seven years, because we think that's when the critical time is to really find out what the best way to, to reintroduce these fish is going to be. The three monitoring programs that we are interested in um, seeing through this first phase and ultimately the long-term uh, life of the project um, are, first of all, monitoring the health of the donor stock. All the fish that are translocated over to the Clackamas come from the Metolius Basin, and we need to make sure that the um, removal of fish is not going to harm the donor population. And we also want to make sure that those fish are disease-free and healthy enough to be put over into the Clackamas. Uh, the second part of the monitoring program involves um, the effectiveness to which our program reestablishes a bull trout population in the Clackamas. So did our efforts work for bull trout? Can we actually get bull trout back in the system? Small step for biologists, <laughs> a giant step for bull trout. Yay. Good job, Tom. And then the third component is monitoring the effects of bull trout on the um, other fish in the Clackamas Basin. We have several listed anadromous salmonids in the Clackamas Basin, and because bull trout are predators, um, we want to ensure that the reintroduction of bull trout does not cause harm to those other listed stocks. Another big aspect of the monitoring program is monitoring what the adults and subadults do. This summer we uh, collected 60 subadults and adult bull trout from the Metolius and implanted radio tags in all of them. Um, and when we moved them over to the Clackamas, we had no idea what they were going to do. Um, it's been really exciting to find out from ODFW, they've been doing the radio tracking. Um, those fish are really sticking in the system. Most of them are within five to ten miles of where we originally put them. And in fact, there's been some really strong upstream movement by several fish up towards the spawning tributaries. So I don't know if we'll see spawning this year, but that's what we're hoping for. But looking at the movements of these fish through radio tracking is another really great way where we can figure out what they're doing each season, where they're going, if it's going to be a cause for concern for other listed fish in the system, and just the overall success of this project.